All right, guys, this is the Sun Run series, and we're pushing it to the limit here. <laughs> Woo! Starting to rain, the wind's cranked up, and we're 25 miles offshore. But we're still gonna try and catch some fish. Let's do it. Oh God, oh my God. <laughs> Welcome Fishaholics, and in this four part series, Brent of Sea Dude Fishing and myself are teaming up to compete against Ryan Is and A Ben's Fishing. The goal is to see who can capture the most epic content in five days of fishing in the Florida Keys for the Sunrun series TV show that will air on Discovery Channel in October. And this is day two. I hope you all enjoy. Guys, it's the next day, day two of the sun run. Starts today and we're starting off where we started yesterday where I got some of those tarp in because we saw so many here at the start of the incoming tide. So let's get to it. Brent, you ready to, to catch them? I want to catch a tarp and you got one. <laughs> I want to get mine. All right, that's the goal. But we also got to get a bigger one. Yeah. And you know, maybe one that just gives us the most epic like little short clip that we can get because that can get a lot of views and also it'll look good on long form content. So let's get to it. I'm gonna start with a live pinfish today because when we were on this spot, we didn't have pinfish. And other than that little shrimp lure that I was using that worked really well, uh, we, did, we only had one bite on a live crab below a float. So I think a juicy pinfish like this might help us get a slightly bigger tarpon. Oh, just got hit right there by something small. Oh man, a little cuda. Cut him right in half. You're getting popped right there. Looks like a tarpon, dude. That's a tarpon. Yeah, he spit it. I'll put the bait rod down for a minute. Let's try the shrimp. Oh, I'm right in them. Oh. There he is. Oh. oh, that was one, wasn't it? Yeah, I think so. So guys, I'm switching because I forgot my sharpening stone and just that one fish that hit bent the tip over on this hook. So you got, I gotta pay close attention to my hook point, especially when you're tarpon fishing, otherwise the next one or all of them, if you don't keep an eye on it, could just come right off. How are we doing on time? We have 31 minutes. All right. Through. There he is. Got him. That's a tarpon. Oh yeah, another little guy. I nailed this guy hard. <laughs> He's flying out of the water. All right. We, we broke a net yesterday. A cute little guy, a little smaller than yesterday. It does, so it's one step closer to an inshore slam. There you go, get him in that net. There you go. You keep fishing. Get another, get another one on the board. There he is. Beautiful, fun-sized little fish. Let's get her back. Good work, good work. Oh God, I could have caught him in the air there. 
That's a little bigger than mine today. Oh, you there you Thank go. You. I got it. Of course. Go get yourself another one. You mind if I have the, the, the Minn Kota? To kind of zip us around? That'll keep us off the rocks, too. All right, Brent's on the board with a nice tarpon, a nice little tarpon. We got more of them right here. Oh, we saw a larger one. Oh, there's a bunch of bigger fish right up here, dude. Come on, eat the pinfish. Eat the pinfish. All right, guys, we ran into a little rain. Good work, Brent. Boom. Thank you. He got one on the board. We got one more than yesterday, so that's pretty cool. We saw some bigger ones rolling back there, but it's slack tied, and we think it's a good chance now to hit some of the bridge pilings for maybe some juvenile grouper, and maybe we'll go back to that uh, jetty area, cove area, and on the incoming, maybe uh, some more of those tarpon will eat. And then we gotta go check the pinfish trap, maybe catch a little bit more bait, and then we're gonna head offshore. So yep. let's keep it going. Let's see if we can get something to eat this pinfish here. Let's drop it down right next to that piling. Check my drag. Oh, that's not tight enough. We gotta pull out a nice grouper. Oh, I got hit right there. Bait is gone. Nice cast. I don't cast this reel very often. Yeah, I, I would have, I would prefer like a beefed up spinning reel, but this is kind of, I had this rigged up with 80, so. Got him. Nice. Got him. Brent's on, Brent's on. Got him. Got him. Let me get the boga. I just gotta grab the swivel. It's a good size one for light tackle, you know. Nice, dude. That is by far the smallest Goliath trooper I've ever caught in my life. Oh, really? I love that. That's so cool, dude. Look at the colors on that guy. Yeah. What is it? Oh, oh, nice mangrove. All right, check that out, guys. That is a decent inshore mangrove. And I can't believe I got him with 80 pound leader. And this was probably what was hitting the first two uh, baits that got stripped off the hook. And mangrove are pretty smart, so they'll grab it right up into the curve of the hook there. And then they just wait for you to come tight. And then they just rip the bait right off. My snapper is almost as long as them. That is crazy. <laughs> nice. Yeah. Two Goliaths, one snapper. I can brag a little, Brent, though, because we can eat this guy. Yeah, yeah, we cannot <laughs> eat these guys. We've gotten her. It's getting hot now. Yeah, We're gonna go check that tarpon spot out again. But not bad, bro. We got two. Oh, yeah. Two Goliaths, and you got and another snapper. keeper snapper. Yeah. We need that snapper for later because. Stay tuned, we're doing a, a catch and cook at Hawks K, which should be phenomenal. So let's go get a, a few more fish though. We would get the larger ones. Look, they're feeding right there. I'm right next to you. <laughs> Seems like a bigger eat too. Yeah. Oh, that's a little guy. A little guy. There's a tarpon on. Got a good hook set on them. Yeah, you did. <laughs> Y'all go to the right of you. All Let's right. Double us up here, Brent. Oh, he threw it right there. Oh, and I lost my tail. 
Let's try this color right here. Should be a little. Got you up. Oh, that might be a part. Nice. That might be. I don't know. No, good. Oh, a ton of tarpon. Yeah, that's what I was saying. They're down deep, dude. There's a bigger one in that pool, too. Yeah, they're hanging right in the sand by the garage. They're down deeper than that. Yeah. It may not be a bad idea to... Yeah. Probably a snapper. I was going to say, now may not be a... It's going to be a good snapper. Yeah, it's a good snapper. Another keeper. There we go. Chubby little guy. Probably like 13, 14 inches. So after that last snapper, we tied it up, went to the fuel dock to get some ice, fuel, and then we pushed off and loaded up with some more baits, and then we raced offshore. In 113 feet of water. Let's drop this pinfish down and hopefully it gets smoked. We definitely have a much faster drift than we did yesterday. <clears throat> ah man, I got hit by a cuda on the way down. Got him on? Yeah, I got him on. <sighs> I think I lost him. Oh, now he's on. Oh. <laughs> you grab me the boga grip by chance. Might need to help with the leader too. This might be bigger than yesterday. Really? Yeah. Kind of a miracle he hasn't cut me off yet. Got the it's 80 pounds, so you can go hard with it. Look at that perfect hook set. Right on the tip of the nose. Oh, he might pop off. Oh. Yeah. The circle hook did its job. Oh god, I got him there. Ah. Got him. There you go. Not a bad one. That's not a grouper. No. Look at that beautiful. Big cuda right there. Let's get him back. There he goes. Oh, it's so frustrating that it's hard to get to the bottom with a live bait. All right, guys, let's turn one of these little baits into a bigger bait. Oh no, the Cuda ate the bait. Oh, yeah, <laughs> a monster Cuda ate that little tiny Mahara. And somehow he hasn't cut me off yet. That's embarrassing. I'm only using 20 pound liter right now. 
I saw exactly when he grabbed it. <laughs> so I was able to kind of set the hook right on the tip of his nose probably. I'm putting this little 3000 quantum to the test. Oh, he got me right there. All right, guys, next, I'm thinking we should try one of these Nomad Vertrex vibes. Gone down, so try jigging, I don't know. You wanna give it like 15 minutes of jigging? Yeah, 15 more minutes or so, there he is. Oh, good Let's see what it is. It crushed the Nomad vibe. It could be another AP. Smaller Cuda. I don't know, that's why. I swear it felt like something else though, like a snapper or something. Oh, he just soaked us. <laughs> the other critters are looking at that guy like, wait. All right, there he is, guys. Feisty little Cuda that crushed the vibe. Well, we hoped for a different result today in this spot, but we kind of just encountered the same thing, except for that uh, nice little AP that On the jig, uh, Brent yeah. jigged up. And I spent some time jigging, just got that Cuda. So we're gonna switch things up and go in a little shallower and maybe uh, just see if we can get a limit of snapper to bring back for the catch and cook later. try this little two three inch pinch fish here I've got a knocker rig set up and I'm gonna hook them right under the head just like that so he swims down yeah gross right oh I just got eight just got eight just got eight what do we got here there he is fish on I think it's a small mahi. <laughs> no way. A mahi on the pinfish. What is a mahi doing here? Look at this beautiful little fish here. No way, dude. Definitely not a keeper. Yeah, not a keeper, but that's still cool here. Water. Look at that beautiful little mahi that we just got in 65 feet of water. Pretty cool. There he is. He's instantly in the bottom. Oh, got him out. Got him out. Nah, he's not too big. It's definitely a grouper. Oh, what? No, he might have got cut off right there. No, he po popped off. Oh. All right, well, he might have found us a little spot. <sighs> we almost had him. He wasn't too big. He was definitely a releaser. Okay. I don't think he was a keeper. Oh, it just got hit. <clears throat> oh, he came off again. Like a good bite. Yeah. Got some. Got some. Something good? Yep. Something off the bottom. That might be a nice mang. Come on up. Come on up. 
What do you got, bro? What do you got? There's the leader. Big mangrove. Dude, stud mangrove. Big mangrove. That's what's eating our pinfish down there. Look at that dude. one. That's dinner right there. Yeah. That's more like it. Oh, hook popped out right there. Nice. All right, guys, this just happened to the pinfish that I dropped down on a heavier setup with 80 pound leader. So I'm switching to 50 because since Brent got that really big mang, mangrove, I think maybe just lightening the leader, I'll uh, get a few more bites from them myself. He was using 60, so I'll try 50. All right, guys, let's try a live grunt now. I got him. <laughs> I don't know what it is. Yeah, little shark. Yeah, I think there's a bunch of them down there. Dang it, son. I'm going to try the uh, jig head technique. Oh! <laughs> you're okay, you're okay. He went after me. Yeah, the crazy looking is that. Uh... You got it. Cool. All right, guys, let's try throwing down this little nomad vibe now. Since there's some larger mangrove snapper around, maybe this will work. There you go. That's a good fish. There he is. Good fish on. Nice. On the vibe. Let's see if I can get them up now without getting eaten. Whew. It might be a grouper. You got some spinning. Snark. Oh my god, a shark. I can't believe I got the sh a shark on this. And uh, <laughs> that's what a mess. Better watch out, Sean. He's coming in so I can just get the hooks out. All right, Rich, you want to explain what just happened there? <laughs> I snagged this shark that, on the vibe, and then he just came up spinning through all of Brent's line. Oh, God. Yeah. I'm He's still wrapping. Yeah, oh, I see that. Where's that knife? I'm just going to start cutting. Grab. Where, where's my line in the water? Where is he? Does he have my hook? Uh, it out. I don't even know. I got to get the hook, the the lure out of there first. Otherwise, when he shakes, it's just yeah. gonna be good in my hand. Look at this poor little guy. There was also some line on the deck of the boat, and when he came inside the boat, he just started wrapping all around it. What's the worst is, Brent, what are you using, like 10 pound braid? Yeah. That's like what's really the worst. It's hard to even like get a beat on it. There we go. Nice and clean, little buddy. Oh, dude, mahi, mahi. Oh, shit. Oh, oh my God. They're right behind the boat. There's at least two of them. There he is. Mahi on the vibe. <laughs> as soon as I hit the water, dude. Nice, dude. This might be a keeper. Oh, here's, here's Woo! Nice little mini mahi there. And sadly, he's too short, so we gotta throw him back. See ya. All right, guys, dropping down this pinfish chunk. Let's catch something nice. Oh, I just got thumped. Oh yeah, he's got it. There you go. Got him. Snapper on. 
Oh yeah. Probably not a big mangrove, but maybe a yellowtail. Whoa. Yeah, most likely. Something ate him. Could be a big black grouper. He hasn't cut me off yet. Ah. He's getting nervous. Oh, I just got hit. There he is. Oh, there he is. Oh, get up here. No. Oh. Oh, it's a big fish. Oh. We got a big fish on. What? Big fish on. Oh, yeah. Oh. Oh. Whoo, look at that rod. You better win. Ah. Uh, Jesus, man. Oh, God. Come on, spot lock. Come on, spot lock. Yep, yep, yep. Are you off? Go to the left. Go to the left. Jesus. You have a shark? I don't know. I can start chasing it with its own motor. You kind of want to get up front. That might be a little risky. No, I'm, I'm good right here, I think. Okay. He's not in the bottom or anything yet. Dude, you might have had a big grouper and a shark ate it. Huh, yeah, that could be. Oh, there we go. Uh. Oh! It's lightened up a lot. Oh, man. Oh, man. Whew. If you land it, you're going to win biggest fish, I guarantee it. <laughs> is it, but is it worth the tw just 25 points? <laughs> this feels like it should be worth like 100 points. Uh. Uh, uh, my drag is pushed all the way up. Yeah, this thing, this thing's big. I have some gloves in my my salt uh, evolution bag. Okay. It might not be bad to have them on to lead it up. in the drag so Dude, if you, you know what it is a monster lemon okay? yeah that's what it looks like a giant lemon if you pull him his head up here then i'll just cut it yeah big lemon shark holy you hooked him in the eye oh my god well, that's how you got him crazy just drop it if it's too much the play nuts right over here Poor thing. Well, it's like on the outside. I don't know, it's like right next. Well, that's how he didn't cut you. Yeah. Well, safe to say you have the biggest fish because that thing is like nine, ten foot. Yeah. You got him up here for good, you think? Yeah. Then let me get him some bows. So you see how Brent guys has gloves? You wouldn't be able to do this without gloves. And unfortunately, we're just gonna have to cut this hook because we don't have a proper hardware to get it out. Just let it go. If you want me to reel them up. Yeah, you wanna reel them up this yeah. time? You want the gloves? Yeah, we'll switch. A little substitution from Brent here. He went, he, we had him up and then he just went all the way back down. 
You weren't kidding. <laughs> Why? This thing's heavy. Yeah. <laughs> Open the bale. That's a big boy. Jeez, dude, that's the biggest one that I've Is seen. it in free spool? Yep. All right. There we go. Just touch it. Jeez, dude. Oh, man. Free spool if you need it. All right. Just touch it. There we go. There he goes. Good team effort. Invasive species. Whew. I'm not, I'm not meaning to wave a knife at you. That, I guarantee, is going to be the biggest fish caught this entire trip. That thing was a unit. That was the biggest lemon I've ever hooked into. Yeah. Now, unfortunately, guys, we had to just cut that because we were kind of ill-equipped with a proper shark D hooker or even, like, longer pliers. We only had these short little pliers. And the fact that it was kind of, like, hooked on the side of its head, you really don't have a lot of control over the fish. If it's in the mouth, you have a lot more control. Yeah, for sure. So as we're trying to say fumble, or stumble to unhook that hook from his eye, like eye socket there. He could turn right back around and grab her hand, pull us over, rip off a couple pinkies, right? Yeah, we don't want that. We still yeah. got a couple days worth of fishing. Yeah, exactly. Stay tuned. Now it is time for maybe one of the most exciting parts of the video, or at least for some of you guys, and that is the catch and cook portion. And it's gonna be a uh, cooked special for us at Hawks Cave Resort, so. That should be pretty awesome. Yeah. We'll see you guys back on shore. guys we met up with Brian and Aaron here and they had a pretty good day caught a bunch of snappers you guys lost a couple big grouper today yeah it was a day man it was fun, oh, we're gonna pick up their snapper and go. they're gonna play our fish <laughs> they're putting us yeah, to dude, work you guys are just giving us more work to do it's fine should we do a size comparison oh we all here open the ice box yeah, okay. how are you gonna compare my my <laughs> Oh, you guys got some ballyhoo in here. Nice. That's not bad for inshore. That's one fatty. So after we grabbed Aaron and Ryan's fish, this nice gentleman, Captain Anthony, called us over to his boat and he was nice enough to give us four to five dozen pilchards. So a huge shout out to Captain Anthony and his son, Anthony Jr. All right, well, that was pretty epic. Yeah. Uh, and one of the nicest guys that we've encountered so far on this trip. Right? Yeah. Captain, Captain Anthony, I think was his mm -hmm. name. And his son, Anthony Jr. And Anthony Jr. They started yelling us down at the marina when we were talking with Aaron and Ryan. They, and we go over there, he's like, we watch you guys' videos. We love you guys. Do you guys need any bait? And we're just like, uh, yeah, we have a bait pen. So he just loaded us up with a good amount of really good sized pilchards that unfortunately for you. I'm really bummed now. Yeah, Ryan and I are well, gonna be using offshore tomorrow, unless you want some. I mean, well, you, we should take some if no, that's okay. No, yeah, that's only and, fair. And did yeah. we tell the folks at home yet what is, we're gonna do tomorrow? We're gonna kind of swap, I don't, so. I don't think you guys have Ryan really seen Ryan yeah. is going to hop on Brent's boat, and I'm gonna hop on Aaron's boat. And um, Aaron has the 18-foot LTS uh, Mako. So they've primarily just been fishing inshore. And I think uh, Ryan has been itching to get offshore. Ryan is itching for some offshore fishing. Yeah, because we just keep uh, throwing out, you know, all the different varieties of fish that we're seeing or catching or encountering out there. And uh, he really wants to get out there. So uh, he might get one day out there. I don't. I I, I kind of want to come pitch, back out Thursday. No, yeah, he's pitching for two. Yeah. I'm like, dude, you're not my teammate. Are you <laughs> trying know. to switch sides right now? No. <laughs> Rich is my guy. <laughs> yeah, no. So plan of right now, switch just for tomorrow. Ryan's going to be on my boat. Rich is going to be on Aaron's boat. We're going to be offshore. You guys are going to be inshore. And we're going to go from there, kind of do a little 1v1 with each other on, on the boat. So be, yeah. add a new little element to the story. Exactly. And yeah, you guys should take some 
some mm -hmm. of the white bait with you too. And that'll be a game changer for the larger tarpon that we're seeing around. Yeah. And um, I think it's time for dinner, right? I'm starving. Yeah, we gotta go back, fillet the fish, clean the boat, up. clean ourselves, and head over to dinner so they can cook up our fish for us. Let's do it. See you guys there. Jack the thick one. Schoolmaster. You got those nice and buried. Oh, yeah. Here we go. Got it? That's it. Okay. I'm going to flush the end of this one. Let's fillet up some fish. Hopefully before it starts raining on us. Look at that stud mango, dude. That is a thick one. So it's gonna have some good blades on it. Right here, you can see a little bite mark from when he was reeling that fish up. So something tried to grab him. bad. You can see here this one's a male. Let's gut this one to see if we can have it cooked whole for us. Nice, nice little build. There we go, nice and clean inside. And then I'm gonna use the back end of the knife to just get the scales off. So then he's ready for the chefs in the kitchen better out of these scaler, but I don't. Going in the Yeti Hopper. I'll sit at the head of the table, boys. All right. Let's eat. Let's go. Sit right here. I'm the eldest. Got the fish right here. So, Rich, how are you feeling about the boat swap tomorrow? <clears throat> Especially since we've got great bait. And He's jealous. He, I am really yeah, jealous yeah, because is. we've been like throwing these these pinfish around. And the pinfish are great baits. So don't get me wrong. Yeah. But when you have pilchards that are like. I didn't get to see the bait Five really to good. six inches. Dude, like, oh, yeah. well, bro, if you guys, even if you guys get like two, three dozen of them, whatever, I hope that you guys catch a good tarpon on them all. Because yeah, also, we're, we really we're we're struggling with bait. Realistically, we should short. just split it down the middle. Yeah, yeah How's it going? Pretty good. Hey, what's up? Anything? What's going on, okay, Chad? Hey. Nice to meet you. We got some uh, fish for you to cook up for us here today. We nice. have some snapper in that bag right there. Mm -hmm. This is yellow jack. In this one, and then we have a couple whole snapper. And then, how were you guys saying you were talking um, about wanting it? Cooked? Maybe deep fry the whole snapper, blacken the yellow jack, and maybe like um, little pieces or, or, or nuggets yeah. fried with the snapper, yes. which is the the more filled bag. Okay. And what I usually like to do with the snapper, just you know, to give you those options, I like to do a fresca style with mm -hmm. the snapper, 
And, okay. uh, and you, you have three options. So you can also do the uh, blackened style and you can do some fried. Awesome. Up to okay. you, but just give me your options. That'd be great. One of the blackened style will go with the pineapple salsa. Okay. Which Ooh. is kind of a beauty t uh, tangy taste to it. That's and then fresco, of course, is just classic with the um, lemon oils and tomato. Okay. Um, nice. fresh, fresh herbs, fine herbs on there. This is, we usually specialize this. We do this here all the time. Nice. We yes. do uh, usually one to two pound and we usually deep fry this. Perfect. Yeah, so I, I actually choice. had the uh, deep fried uh, yellowtail last night here yeah. and it was phenomenal. And he wants so it again. That's why yeah. I, I decided to clean those like that because I, I anticipated Perfect. that the rest of the guys want that. Perfect. So, yep. So, so you guys are talking so about the black in with the pineapple? You I'm guys, down for the black in yeah. pineapple. That sounds amazing. On some of the snapper you were Fantastic. thinking? Fantastic. Yep. yep. All right. Thanks we'll so much, Anthony. We'll have this out to you as soon as we can. Perfect. Okay. Thank, thank you, you very chef, much. Anthony. Thank you, Chef. Yeah, thank you. Looking Sweet. forward to it. Hey. Oh, 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 there we go. Wow. Whoa, look at that. Look at that. Man, damn, look at that. that is delicious. Thank you so I much. Wow, that looks so <laughs> good. My Here, we goodness. have some eating to do. Yeah, we do. Oh, oh it's not done. Oh, oh yuca fries. Oh my gosh. That's going to be good. So, That's ridiculous. Uh, are we going live? Right here. Why am I getting so Oh, we got rice too. Rice, all right. Tartar sauce? Yes, sir. Oh, oh yeah. Man, thank, thank you. you. Wow. Thank you. A little sauce on there. All right. Boys. Look at that. Wow, what a perfect bite. Right. Boys, cheers. cheers to cheers. an epic time here at Hawks K Resort. Cheers. You know and to many are. more fish dinners together. Let's get after cheers. it. Cheers. That's oh, so good. Come on right now. Banging right there. That is so good. Oh, yeah. man. There he is. Thank you. Thank it's you. so good. Thank you so much. The best That's fish so I've ever good. had in my life. He literally oh, thank has been saving yeah. Amazing. Really. Thank you very much. So good. My pleasure, yep. gentlemen. This fried fish is so good. Wow. I need the batter secret. Yes. We won't get it today, though. Is it beer batter? <laughs> what is what is it? Every time I have fish, I know where I'm coming. Especially when I'm in the Keys. Absolutely. And the presentation is that. The presentation is amazing. beautiful. These yuca fries. You're onto something, sir. How about the pineapple salsa? It's so good. Yeah? Sweet, citrusy, amazing. Yeah. Thank Paired you so beautifully much. With Very the fish. kind. I really appreciate it. Come and see us again, okay? Genuinely. Absolutely. Absolutely. Thank Genuinely. You. Thank it you so really is unbelievable. Cool. Thank you so much. Hey, yep. thank, you. thank you. Thanks for coming out. Thank you. Holy cow. All right, guys, that is it. Yep. That was some of the best fish that I've ever had. Yeah. That was unreal. It was unbelievable. We're gonna do a little swaparoo tomorrow. Yeah, but, you're staying inshore. I'm going offshore. Uh, I got man. Ryan. You got Aaron. I wish I had my boat. Yeah, but we got. I'd be some... right behind you. But um, but because of uh, Captain it's... Anthony, we have some live bait that we're gonna be sharing with each other. So that should make a big change. Some big old pilchers for the boat. And I really hope you come through for I, invasive species tomorrow. Yeah, I hope tomorrow. you absolutely crush and Aaron out there. I I need to get a big tarpon. I think that tomorrow might be the best shot at a big tarpon. I think it that is. could be the biggest fish of the the little competition we're doing. And we all kind of decided not to count that lemon shark as a, a winning fish for the biggest fish which if we catch the biggest fish of the of this competition that's like 25 plus points so stay tuned we'll pick things back up on day three and we'll get after it let's get after it let's catch them and like always live to fish fish to live i'm using actually a pompano jig with hooked on the crab Fish on. On the crab. Oh no. Get out of there. There he is. Oh, yeah. Fish on the crab. No, no. Oh man. I'm going to lose her. She, she's going to the right. I'm going to lose her. 